Hello and welcome to Trupti Wellness. This is Dr. Trupti, and today's Q and A is on postpartum recovery. As I always say, first forty days after your delivery determine next forty years of your life. So it's very important to take care of yourself well in these forty days or first six weeks after your delivery. So let's see what are the questions for today. So the first question is when will my stitches dissolve if you had a normal delivery then you will get stitches either for an episiotomy cut or due to the natural tear here the stitches will get dissolved in one or two weeks of time so the pain and discomfort will be less after a week or two and the wound gets healed in four weeks of time In case of C-section the superficial layer will get healed in one or two weeks and the inner layer may require 6 to 12 weeks of time depending on the fat of your body. The second question is how to take care of my episiotomy wound. So here hygiene is very important so ask your doctor about the bath. Normally it is allowed to take a bath after 24 hours post delivery. Also use warm water for bathing and don't forget to add the disinfectant in the water. Pat dry the area with soft cotton towel. Don't use the same sanitary pads for more than 4 to 5 hours irrelevant of the amount of bleeding. Also you can apply ice packs uh, if the pain and swelling is more in earlier days you can take help of the hospital staff to apply these packs. Do contract or squeeze the buttocks whenever you sit to avoid the stretching pain of the stitches. You can also practice same thing whenever you cough, sneeze uh, or laugh as these activities put lot of pressure on the stitches. Don't sit on the hard surfaces and take a pillow below whenever you sit. Also many doctors advise sits bath to keep the area clean. Here you can take some water in the tub and soak the area for 15 to 20 minutes. Pat dry the area afterwards with a soft cotton cloth. If the pain is more, your doctors might prescribe you local anesthetic ointments or also give you painkillers to relieve the pain. Make sure that you are taking adequate water and fiber rich diet in these days to avoid constipation. Constipation is the major issue in postpartum period. Also, straining during defecation might put pressure on the stitches again and make your wound to bleed. If you have constipation issues, then you can take a subbul powder in warm water at that time. Third question is when can I start thinking about weight loss after delivery and which is the best time to start weight loss program? So ideally weight loss after delivery starts on the delivery day itself. You lose around 5 to 6 kg of weight including your baby's weight, weight of the placenta, weight of the amniotic fluid and some blood. After that you will get bleeding for 4 to 6 weeks of time depending on the women which will again help in the involution of uterus and to reduce down the size of your tummy. Besides this exclusive breastfeeding also secrete some hormones in the body which helps to regain the original size of the uterus as your baby is completely dependent on the breast milk for its nutrition so it is not a good idea to think about the weight loss for first 6 months after delivery so around 6 to 8 months of time your baby will learn to get the nutrition from the complementary foods along with the breast milk during this time also you will get back your menses which is again the sign of settling down of the hormones so Around 6 to 8 months is the best time post delivery to think about weight loss. Next question, is it a good idea to tie the waist tightly in postpartum? So if the intention behind this is to reduce the tummy size then it is not at all a good idea. Uterus will take its own time to come to its original shape. Nowadays abdominal belts are available in the market as per your size 
which are good to use after your delivery and even after C sections. These belts gives lot of support to your back which is needful in this period. The next question, how much time does the uterus takes to come back to its original shape after C section? So the answer for this is it takes around 6 to 12 weeks of time depending on how you are breastfeeding your child whether is it exclusive breastfeeding or the periodic one and also depending on the fat of your body. The next question is when the c-section stitches pain should stop and is there any hard lump around the stitches majority of pain reduces down after four weeks of c-section but the wound takes around six to eight months to heal completely so there will be some sort of dragging or pulling pain of the inner stitches up to six to eight months and yes you will also find the hard lumps around the stitches these are nothing but the disrupted muscles which will go off gradually. The next question is do I need to take any supplements to recover my strength in postpartum period? So majority of doctors continues your iron and calcium supplements for 6 months after delivery. These supplements helps to recover your calcium loss, blood loss. It also aids recovery and helps you to regain the strength. Next question, from when can I start taking bath? So after normal delivery, you can take bath from second day onwards. Usually doctors allowed to take bath post 24 hours of delivery. In case of C-section, you are allowed to take bath once the catheter is removed. That is after 48 to 72 hours of time post C-section. Also nowadays waterproof bandages are applied on the stitches so you can take bath safely. Once the dressing is removed on 5th day, doctors advise you to clean the stitches properly with mild soap and water. And the last question, what should be the diet in postpartum period and can we eat sour fruits after delivery? So here it's always good for your body to start with soft diet as your body has lost lot of strength and energy in the process of labor and childbirth. Also the digestive fire or agni reduces down during this process. So uh, it's very good for you to start with soft diet which includes rice, porridges, you can also add milk, tender coconut water, green leafy vegetables. Uh, boiled egg whites if you eat eggs and later on you can add chapatis, multigrain rotis, parathas in that. Also you can start fruits from third week onwards after your delivery whether it be a c-section or a normal delivery and after a month you can include whole balanced diet in your meals. So this was all about postpartum recovery. We hope this information will help you. We will meet in next episode. Till then stay happy, stay blessed. Thank you.